Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well. For the last six weeks, we have focused our attention on the need to make quick decisions and take immediate action to confront and mitigate the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on Colorado State University. Together, we have done incredible work, and I am proud of all that we have accomplished. I'm also focused on our future. In fact, I've been engaged in forward-focused planning since I arrived at CSU, but I have had to refocus on a new reality caused by the pandemic. But as president of CSU, I do not intend to do this alone. And let me tell you why. A number of higher education institutions have released plans for recovery in which they spell out the measures they will take to offset the fiscal losses caused by COVID-19. I've read these plans from my fellow presidents, and I respect the strategic steps they propose, which include hiring freezes, furloughs, salary cuts, curricular changes, restructuring, and more. But for an institution to have released their recovery plan means the planning itself can only be the work of a few people without a process for shared engagement in problem solving. This is inconsistent with the culture of Colorado State University and the Colorado State University system. Instead, I believe our best path forward is through a transparent, engaged process grounded in our land-grant commitment to access, success, diversity and inclusion, equity and excellence. This will generate a recovery plan that we all believe in and a stronger future as a result. Let me talk for a moment about the future. Our current and projected losses of revenue are beyond anything we have ever experienced including in the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis. The path before us will not be easy, but as we plan for the future, we have the opportunity to work together with the determination and imagination that defines CSU. And I truly believe that if we do that, we will be recognized for pushing beyond what is being called the new normal to define a new approach to excellent education, research, and engagement. To work together going forward, we must make a conscious choice now to stare down the uncertainty caused by the pandemic and substitute the certainty of common purpose. And this requires a level of trust in one another. Nonetheless, for us to make it through the unanticipated disruption with long-term impact, we must learn to be open to new ideas, assume good faith, work together with trust, expect grace and give it to others, and put the common good before self-interest. If we can do these things, they will be our superpowers as we shatter seemingly impossible barriers and emerge as a shining example of land-grant resilience and excellence. I encourage all of you to read through the recovery planning process I lay out in my message. It is long, and I'm sorry. It is detailed. It is candid and thorough. I also hope you will take it as it is intended, as a roadmap for us to follow together over the next weeks and months. Our mission and priorities have served us well in our immediate response to the COVID-19 crisis. It is more important than ever that we stay true to our commitment to excellence and equity in all we do. But there is no doubt we will have to adopt new strategies. I am proud that our decision-making puts our students and the health and safety of our employees first. I know this is a difficult time, and I am grateful for your patience, dedication, and creative problem solving. Uncertainty is difficult. No one knows what the future holds. However, in the face of uncertainty, you can be certain I will be direct, transparent, and an advocate for our students, faculty, staff, and this community.